Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome with Cooking with Camille. I'm your host, Camille, with the Moses, and we're here today to do a quick and easy meal. That's right, another quick and easy meal. Today, we're going to do some um, cream of chicken and broccoli, cream of chicken and noodle and broccoli, okay? So, you're going to need, I got two onions, I got two stalks of celery, they're soaking in the, because uh, they was frozen in the sink. I got some broccoli. I need some noodles. I got need some chicken broth. I got some parsley, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt-free seasoning. Because you know I don't do too much salt. And let's throw some fresh garlic in there also. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna and I got uh two pounds of uh boneless chicken. I'm washing it too. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna get this boneless chicken and we're gonna cut it up. Uh, and put it in the container and we're going to cut it up in cubes okay I had that onion on there so I'm just so we're just going to cut it up in cubes like uh, just like this cubes okay like I said once before I'll never uh, freeze brock uh, cauliflower again I'm mean, not cauliflower celery because it's so watery when it comes back out but it still do good but I don't like I rather just have fresh um celery but i'm going to use this up because i had so much of it i'm going to use it up just make sure you squeeze it real good and and continue to cook with it you can still cook with it, it still turns out good but never no more uh, celery somebody told me you could freeze celery i should have known better i should have went with my first choice not to freeze it okay we're going to leave the broccoli frozen and we're going to put that in last <clears throat> If you got fresh broccoli, then we're going to put it in with the, um, when we cook the um, celery and onion. Okay. We got the oil going and uh, we're going to season the celery and the onion together. Okay. We're going to take the celery and the onion. We're going to dice it. Uh, dice it or chunk it. I like it with chunky because I like to taste my vegetables in my soup. Um, <clears throat> So when I say chunk, I mean like this, a little chunky plate flavor. I'm cutting up uh, two small onions and uh, we'll go from there. So we're just gonna, after we got that all mixed in and mixed together, then we're gonna add our chicken with it. Saute our chicken, about two pounds of chicken. We're going to add our uh, seasons that we said we're going to use. I'm going to use, you can use whatever seasons you want. I'm going to use um, I have some garlic powder right here. Sprinkle some garlic powder on it. I got some pepper. I'll say about a half a teaspoon of each. Uh, the garlic powder and the onion powder, I will do maybe one teaspoon because it just gives it flavor. One teaspoon of each. It's kind of uh, where some air got to it, so it's kind of like uh, this is the onion powder stuck, so I have to get a knife and uh, okay. onion powder. Then I got no uh, salt free seasoning salt, just for flavor. Put some parsley in there and some Italian seasoning. And you know me, I can't forget the garlic, fresh garlic. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of fresh garlic in there. Okay. And then we're just going to continue to stir until we get all the seasonings uh, mixed up. I got a little bit of, I'm going to put some basil in there too. Let me find my basil. Okay, here it is, basil. I got some basil. I'm going to throw that in there too. Okay, we're just going to stir fry that 
who it becomes all mixed together and brown and if it don't get all the way down remember it's going in the pot so it'll be just fine but we do want all of it where the chicken is completely done where it's um cooked all in um all you know so you'll get the chicken done that's what we mainly want that done okay so we're going to continue to cook that I did add um, two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper to it. You don't want it too hot, so I'll do about a quarter of a spoon of that. Okay? And that's pretty much everything. And we're just going to let it cook. Because then I got a pot back here halfway full of water so we're going to fill that halfway full of water y'all know what i want for christmas i'm going to throw it in with some new pots and pans because these are getting bad and the, you know you're not supposed to use a so do you run rubber spatulas on your thing but you let a man cook in your kitchen or somebody else cook in your kitchen they'll use a fork i've seen them scramble on an egg with a fork this morning I thought I'd choke him. But that's how your pants get all scratched up. So that's what he's getting me for Christmas. I'm going to tell him. That's why I want a new set of pants. Um, I like the Rachel Ray. That's what these are, Rachel Ray. I like those because they last a long time. Or the um, Darius Cook. Because the skill is just a Darius Cook. And I love his, his product. So I'll support Darius. Uh, if he got toxic, well, I know he got them, but they so heavy. Oh my god, they so heavy. So, uh, oops, sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe up my mess. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we got this water going, we're gonna add, I still got the chicken going back here. The chicken going back here. We're gonna let that keep simmering. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn it down low. Yo, no, I'm a, uh, excuse me. Uh, Y'all excuse my family talking. Okay, we're going to take this. I'm going to, I use chicken base and get the flavor that you want. And make sure you go a little at a time because it'll get salty on you. And we, you just want the right flavor. So I'm going to keep doing this till I get the right flavor that I want. Now, all your seasonings are in the meat. Now, once we put the meat in there to start cooking, then you can taste if you need more seasoning. Okay? Let me get a spoon so I can taste it. I don't want to taste it with the one I'm stirring with. get the other one let get the bigger one let me add just a little bit more a little bit more and we'll start stirring that again okay okay now that I got the flavor I want I'm just gonna add just a tad of water maybe about a half a cup of milk not water I said water didn't I just a tad of milk I say about a half a cup or a cup just to, uh because I don't do too much milk so I don't Water too thick, and then we're going to make a roux to thicken it up later. Now we're going to put the chicken in there to get all those flavors in there, and put that in there. So we're going to start boiling all those flavors before we thicken it up. So y'all talk to this bitch ass nigga. So we're just going to just do that. Y'all excuse the language, huh? They watching TV in the kitchen. Let me turn this sucker down. So then after you do that, you can just stir it up, and then we'll just, uh, once we get the noodles in there, then we can throw, we're going to let that simmer, put the lid on there, and let it cook over about, till it comes to a boil, okay? Okay, now that it comes to a boil, we're going to add our noodles, but we're only going to add half, because the noodles make a lot of, uh, soak up a lot of your juice. So we're only going to use a half a bag of noodles. Let, 
because they blow up really bad, really good, <laughs> really bad, really good. Yep. And then we're going to add our broccoli. I got one bag of frozen broccoli. We'll add that. Like so. Stir it up. And then while this has come to a boil again, uh, the noodles get done, then we're going to make a roux to thicken it up a little bit. Okay, I made a roux. If anybody knows what a roux is, it's just flour and butter. And you make it where it's thick enough. And you're just going to pour it in your soup and mix it to make it a little thicker, like so. Okay? You're just going to get it all squirched in there and... Stir it up and let it set, come to a boil, and hopefully it comes thicker. If it don't get thicker, then you know, you know, it add a little more roux. And we're going to stir that up and see what happens. It's starting to look good. We want it a little thicker, like a cream almost. Okay, we're going to do that. You need to turn that TV down. Let's start turning on TV. Okay, and then we'll just, uh, let that set for a minute and see how thick it'll get. Okay, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, and we'll be back. Uh, okay, everybody, look at this. Look how good that look, y'all. Look. Let me turn it down low. It is ready, and it's the thickness that I want. Cream, chicken, and noodle with broccoli. Look at that, everybody. Okay. Let's serve it up. Okay, the finishing touch. Look at that, y'all. Broccoli, chicken and broccoli and noodles. Look at that, y'all. It turned out really good. And two slices of thin sliced pound cakes. Really thin. I should have got some straw, but the strawberries didn't look good, so I didn't get no strawberries. But look at that. Okay, there we go. We had it. Cream of chicken and broccoli. Ch cream of chicken and noodle and broccoli. Okay, y'all have a blessed day. Love y'all and see y'all soon.